Hello everyone, in this video we will be talking about classification of enzymes and we are all aware what are enzymes. Enzymes are nothing but biocatalyst. In universe, in any reaction or any chemical reaction supposed to take place, they need a catalyst. But in living system, that catalyst named as enzyme. Right. So first talk about the classification of enzymes. There are seven major classes of enzymes as per the International Union of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Right. So as per them, IUBMB, each enzyme has got its number. So that is known as enzyme commission number. So what is the advantage of this enzyme commission number? With this enzyme commission number, you can easily identify what is that enzyme and it belongs to which group of enzymes. Right. And every enzyme as I mentioned, it has got enzyme commission number and enzyme commission number comprised of four digits. Okay. And first three digits which will define the uh, reaction that catalyzed by that enzyme and fourth is unique. That means that is allocated to that particular enzyme. First three digits will be to the group of enzymes because there are enzymes which can catalyze same reaction but different names. But the thing is the fourth digit which can be allocated to the particular enzyme that is unique. Suppose if you take example like alcohol dehydrogenase, so the enzyme commission number is 1, 1, 1. So these three first three digits, what it is explaining? It belongs to the group of that like uh, what uh, reaction it is catalyzing. Okay. And fourth one is the serial number of that particular uh, enzyme. Why? Because this is the first enzyme to be identified in this group of enzymes. Alcohol, alcohol dehydrogenase is the first enzyme to be identified ab uh, among the group of dehydrogenases. Enzyme classification as I mentioned as per the International Union of uh, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology, seven major categories. So one is Oxidoreductases enzyme class 1, oxidoreductases enzyme class 2, transferases enzyme class 3, hydrolases and enzyme class 4, lyases enzyme class 5, isomerases enzyme class 6, ligases and enzyme class 7, translocases. So these are all the major categories of uh, enzyme classification. So we will discuss in detail about one by one. So first enzyme class that is oxidoreductase. With the name itself, you can make out. These are the group of enzymes which involved in oxidation reduction reactions. Okay, any enzyme which involved in oxidation reduction reaction belong to the class 1 that is oxidoreductases. So here you can see the example here A plus B, two substrates are there like one will be like a reductant, one other will be like oxidant. So here by involving this oxidation reduction reaction, reductant can be converted into oxidant and oxidant can be converted to reductant. So that is the advantage of this group of enzymes. What are the classes involved in this class 1? Okay, so dehydrogenases, reductases, oxidases, peroxidases. So all this, so any enzyme if you take alcohol dehydrogenase, lactate dehydrogenase, uh, otherwise you can say, uh, what is that, um, vitamin K epoxide reductase and peroxidases, oxidases. So all these are best example for oxidoreductases. So next class that is transferases. So transferases with the name itself, they can say like uh, they will transfer particular functional group from one substance to other. They have just a function of transfer. Okay. So the best example for this group of enzymes are transaminases. That means transfer of amino group from one amino acid to other keto acid converting that acceptor keto acid to a new amino acid and the donor amino acid to a new keto acid. So I can give example here. Here these group of enzymes not only transfer amino group. So transaminases are one of the example for this transferases. So there are other enzymes which can transfer carboxyl groups, methyl groups and phosphate groups. Right. So here you can see A and uh, X are in linkage okay and X is a functional group of the A and it is supposed to transfer to B. So that's why what happened after donating A will become new product after receiving this X B will become another new product. So this way transferases will work. 
So what are all the enzymes you can say here? As I mentioned just a while back, amino trans, uh, transferases or transaminases are the best example for transferases and kinases that means these are the group of enzymes which catalyzes the transfer of phosphate groups and transcarboxylase that means transfer of carbon dioxide. Third class of enzymes hydrolases with the name of hydrolase you can make out that these are the group of enzymes which involved in cleavage of linkages like what are the cleavages glycosidic linkage peptide linkage and ester linkage okay that means they involved in breakage of bonds so glycosidic linkage where it will get glycosidic linkage you will get in carbohydrates peptide linkage you will get in proteins and ester linkage in lipids so all these bonds will be broken with the help of enzymes that belongs to hydrolysis so what they do what is the spe uh, specialty of these enzymes they will take help of water to break these bonds so that's why known as hydro lasers so you see here this is a product a b both are in the linkage okay with the help of water they can break that means h2o can be separated into oh and h so oh will be go to a and h will go to b so like this they will break the bonds between the substances so enzymes all digestive enzymes like amylase pepsin trypsin chymotrypsin elastase so all the digestive enzymes belongs to the category hydrolase so that is the reason why whatever the food like vegetable sources or non vegetable sources that we are consuming okay so they are comprised of carbohydrates proteins and lipids so there are like complex substances to simple lipids but our intestine can absorb only simple substances so well but food sources have maximum amount of complex substances like if you take proteins like carbohydrate starch glycogen and lipids triacylglycerol and uh, phospholipids so they cannot directly absorbed by intestine so they should be further simplified by the digestion right so for that simplified digestion what to say they are supposed to be separated like proteins if you break down you will get amino acids amino acids are only can be able to absorb from the intestine same way carbohydrate starch cannot be absorbed it has to broken down to individual glucose units then only glucose will be absorbed in the intestine so that's why that is the advantage of hydrolysis without hydrolysis you cannot digest your food okay and acid phosphatase this is enzyme which present in lysosomes okay for scavenging activity for degrading of the cell debris so lyases so what is a this class of what is the speciality of this class lyases so what they do they catalyze the cleavage of uh, same uh, carbon to oxygen carbon to carbon and carbon to nitrogen bonds by means other than hydrolysis so hydrolysis they will break these bonds by using water molecule but lyases will break these bonds without using water molecule that means other than hydrolysis okay so they are giving rise to a compound with double bonds so that means they involved in formation of double bonds they will hydrolyze the substances but they uh, they form double bonds in case of hydrolysis they only hydrolytic cleavage there is no formation of double bond but lyases there is a cleavage without addition of water molecule at the same time they form double bond you can see here a b are in linkage so when you are adding like a x and y so there is a breakage of bonds and a b will form double bond and x y will be separated okay so they are have like a splitting and synthesis of new compound so that's why you can say synthase lyase and synthase work together in cases where reverse reaction is important then synthase not synthetase so synthetase like uh, there are uh, other class of enzymes okay synthase is different synthase will not use energy okay that is a simple thumb rule to remember synthase will not use energy in case of synthetases they use energy coming to fifth enzyme class that is isomerase so you might have seen uh, like uh, in our previous videos vitamins like vitamin a conversion of uh, 11 trans retinol to all trans retinol to all cis retinol that means conversion of uh, uh, aldehyde form to alcohol form or alcohol form to aldehyde form you require isomerase right so that means a simple addition of hydrogens from one carbon to other carbon right so here 
these group of enzymes isomerases they catalyze intramolecular structural rearrangement in molecule within the molecule okay so shuffling of hydrogens within the molecule from one carbon to other carbon so they are uh, again isomerases of uh, subtypes like epimerases and mutases depending upon the type of isomerism involved so you see here this is uh, like abc in the sequence so when isomerases come into the action they will change the order so c will go to first okay a will transfer to middle okay and we will go to the last so that means rearrangement of structure isomerase mainly take care of rearrangement of structure within the molecule so sixth enzyme class that is ligases that was we are talking about synthetases so here there is a formation of bond okay but the thing is they use energy okay they these are the group of enzymes ligases know the difference ligases 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 known as synthase there is uh, they, they will form the bonds but they don't require energy but synthetases to make a bond between the substances to form a product they require energy uh, which is coming from the hydrolysis of atp okay so how they work ligases join the two molecules coupled with the hydrolysis of atp when you hydrolyze the atp whatever the energy is releasing that energy will be utilized uh, combining the two substances to make a new product you can see here a plus b are the two substances by hydrolyzing the atp when you hydrolyze ADP, atp it will be converted into adp and pi and it will release some amount of energy that energy will be involved in making a bond between the two substances to make a product so one more class it is a new class so most of the textbook they mentioned six classes but uh, recently i mean they have added one more class of enzymes that is translocases so what they would do so translocases catalyzes the movement of ions or molecules across membranes and the separation within the membranes so that is the only translocase with the lay, uh, with the like what to say moving in and out okay translocases are group of enzymes which help ions or molecules across the membrane that means these translocases present only on the biological membrane cell membrane okay translocases present only in the biological membrane or cell membrane they will not present inside the cell but the enzymes what we have discussed like oxidoreductases hydrolyzers transferases and then lyases isomerases and ligases all these present in the within the cell but translocase present in the cell membranes so examples enzymes catalyzing the reaction of hydrons uh, inorganic cations inorganic anions uh, amino acid peptides and carbohydrates on their derivatives enzymes of the reaction that provide the driving force for the translocation linked to oxidoreductase reactions hydrolysis of a nucleoside triphosphate hydrolysis of a diphosphate and decarboxylation reaction to summarize with the examples classification of enzymes you see here oxidoreductases what they do oxidation and reduction reaction that means transfer of electrons and hydride ions or hydrogen atom okay like you can say nadh plus h plus so after donating its uh, hydrogens two hydrogens okay or else one hydrogen it will be converted to nad right it will be like transfer of hydrogens from one substance to other substance so what are the classes you have galactic dehydrogenase glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase peroxidase cytochrome oxidase malate dehydrogenase all these like oxidases and uh, uh, peroxidases will be coming into this group and transferases what they do they transfer amino group carboxyl group methyl group phosph uh, phosphate group okay and i gave best example like uh, ast alt aspartate transaminase and alt these are the best classical example for transaminases and ornithine uh, carbamyl transferase which transfer carbon i mean carbon dioxide co2 and hexokinase which transfer phosphate group creatine kinase also involved in transfer of phosphate group so hydrolysis as i mentioned hydrolysis of reactions okay like break the glycosidic peptide and ester linkage so all digestive enzymes so you can see lipase amylase trypsin chymotrypsin lactase sucrase alkaline phosphatase pepsin all these are the classical examples of hydrolysis and lyases they cleave the same glycosidic ester and peptide linkage okay but what they do without adding water molecule they'll uh, break it and they will attach the substances okay and without using the energy okay they will form double bond but they will not use the energy so aldolase parfobilinogen synthase fumarase arginosuccinase carbonic anhydrase cysteine desulfurase and decarboxylase are the examples and isomerase transfer of groups that means transfer of hydrogens or any other groups within the molecule to yield isometric forms 
like phosphoglucomutase, triphosphate isomerase mutase, phosphohexose isomerase, glucose 4 epimerase, and retinol isomerase. So you can give best example. In glycolysis, you can say glucose 6 phosphate is converted to fructose 6 phosphate. How it is possible? The transfer of hydrogens from first carbon to second carbon or like second carbon to first carbon to make a keto group, right? So this is possible because of hexose isomerase. Both fructose and glucose are hexose, six carbon molecules. So by transferring hydrogens from first to second and second to uh, first, the rearrangement is possible. This is a reversible reaction where glucose can be converted to fructose and fructose can be converted to glucose. And ligases, as I mentioned, these are the another group of enzymes which forms the bonds, but they need energy from hydrolysis of ATP. Okay, like glutamine synthase, pyruvate carboxylase and DNA ligases. So translocases, they are present on biological membranes, okay, involved in uh, hydrons, okay, and then inorganic cations, inorganic anions and amino acids, peptides across the membrane, in and out of the cell. 